Hi everyone, uh, this is Julie and this is my 24 week, 24 weeks pregnant update. Sorry, I'm like totally distracted. <sighs> anyway, um, I hope you can see this video again. It's kind of the same setup as last week. Um, so, yeah. Okay, anyway, um, it is freezing cold in here. Um, so I am 24 weeks today, um, everything has been going pretty good, I guess, for the last week, um, as far as, like, my stress level and stuff goes, you know, it's still there, I'm still stressed out about some things, but, you know, I have been realizing lately, you know, that I do have people, um, you know, that are there for me and that I can talk to and stuff, so... I mean, that kind of helps just to kind of just remind yourself that, you know, you do have friends and, you know, like that kind of thing. And, um, um, any cravings this week? Um, I have been wanting, like, some, like, cheese stuff, <laughs> like Cheez-Its. I've been, oh, good, this whole pregnancy, um just something like ooey gooey like nice macaroni and cheese like oh my gosh that sounds like amazing <laughs> like um let's see again fruit snacks are uh have been a big thing this week um like i know like a like a month or two back you know i was really wanting those and now that those are picking back up again um, again, and vanilla wafer cookies, also super delicious and awesome, and Oreos, um, I normally, I love Oreos, like, I can literally eat, like, a whole row and, like, you know what I mean, how the Oreos come in, like, the rows, I can eat normally, like, the whole row without even, like, thinking twice about it, except now, it's, like, there's so much sugar and stuff in it, it just hurts my stomach, so I, I can only eat like maybe three or four at a time, which I think is probably still more than a serving size, but oh well, that's okay. Um, anyways, I guess that's it for really like cravings and symptoms. Um, as you guys know, um, well, maybe I mentioned it in my, um, you know, I guess you could say baby guys video, but like what we have for the baby so far because I didn't really show anything. Um, I mentioned that I had my, that I had, a, oh, excuse me, cardiologist appointment scheduled for Friday the 3rd, and obviously it is past the 3rd, so I have been there to the cardiologist. Um, you know, going there and they have you fill out a whole bunch of paperwork, you know, family history, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, so when I get in the room, they did a EKG. They didn't go over, like, my, what, like, the result or whatever with me, which I found to be a little bit irritating, but again, on the other hand, I didn't mention it. Whew, chills, I'm freezing. Anyways, um, so, uh, they listened to my heart a whole bunch. Um, they, like, checked my like angles and stuff for swelling. I'm not swollen. Um, I took my blood pressure. My blood pressure was like 100 over like 56, I think. Um, so like the whole pregnancy and stuff, my blood pressure has been absolutely fine. And then, um, if you didn't know, the whole reason why I went to the cardiologist um, is that I was referred there by my OB um, because I was having heart palpitations. I still get them every once in a while, but not as often, because when my doctor first referred me to them, like when I went for, not this last appointment, but the one before that, you know, it was, um, it was December, like towards the end of December, and so that has been, you know, over four weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, because I haven't been having them very much at all, like, maybe two or three times a week, maybe. Um, I know sometimes my heart will, like, start to race, but that I, 
I do think is related to stress and just me like panicking over like nothing. <sighs> Anyways, so they want me to go back um, again on Thursday the 9th and I might, I might cancel, I don't, I don't know. But um, they want me to have a echocardiogram, if you don't know what that is, that is um, pretty much an ultrasound of your heart, um, you know, and that will show how the blood is flowing through your chambers and all that. Um, and they also want me to wear a heart monitor, which I am not excited about. And the reason why they want me to wear this specific type of monitor is because um, you can wear it for like up to three weeks or something like that. Um, and he said, I've never seen this particular monitor, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. He said you can attach it to your wrist or your chest or whatever, and the box thing where it like records it and whatever is like the size of an iPad. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know, that and that type of monitor they want me to wear is called a um, Zio Event Recorder. And there's a whole thing too, whether like you have to be near like a landline phone or something to like record it or something. I don't know, I'm like confused about that. But, uh, <laughs> if I don't have a palpitation between... Well, obviously, I said this after I left my appointment, and I said if I don't have a palpitation between when my appointment was, which was Friday, and Thursday when I go in, I'm going to say that I will do the echocardiogram, but I don't want to wear the heart monitor, and um, as a patient, a lot of people don't seem to realize this, but you do have the right to refuse um, any kind of testing or treatment. They might say that it's against medical advice or whatever, but you do have the right to do that, so, and I will only do that if I don't have any palpitations, you know, until Thursday. So, and I haven't had any since my appointment, or any, like, in the days leading up to my appointment. So, anyway, there's that. Um, I don't even want to think about what the bill is going to be for that, because I don't know how much my insurance will cover of that, so, um, yeah, we'll see. And the cardiologist that I saw was, like, freaking 75 years old, so, no, I don't know if he's that old, but he did seem to be older. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have very much space left on my memory card. Um, I will show you my belly, and that will be it, so. <laughs> starving. I'm getting ready to make tacos for dinner right now. So, here he is. Right here. My back's also been hurting really bad, especially like right here. Here's my spine, and it's like right there. If you weren't all like looking at my butt. <laughs> anyway. The last few days, he hasn't really moved a whole lot during the day. Just mainly at night, the last few days, so. And again, he's still favoring being right here. So, it's it's weird. I can kind of, like, feel where he is sometimes. It's strange. Alright, anyway, that is it. I hope you guys are doing good, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.